Hey, this is Mike Stern, and in this lesson I want to um, kind of start uh, and, and talk a little bit more about just expanding your vocabulary. Um, for me, when I first got into, uh, when, uh, you know, I was, I was basically a, a blues rocker, I guess, for any, for, for, for lack of a better, you know, description, but I was basically really listening to uh, Jimi Hendrix and, and Jeff Beck and, and like and, and, and a lot of blues guys, B.B. Um, uh, King. I still love those cats. You know, I listen to them all the time, uh, Buddy Guy. And I used to just cop stuff off the record that I think a lot of people kind of learn that way. And it's a great way of learning. And uh, I, I got exposed to some jazz records. I took some of those records up to my room to try to play along with those, and I got lost completely right away. <laughs> and the, the, uh, it seemed like the, the, the vocabulary, and I think this is kind of true in some ways, the vocabulary was just more difficult in some ways. Uh, and that doesn't make it better for me, because some of the simplest music gets my heart, and that's what music is all about. Music is the language, and it's, and it's a language of the heart. But um, so, so some of the some of the simplest stuff just still knocks me out, you know. But I wanted to learn this other kind of music that seemed to be a big challenge, and I also thought that would get me out of a kind of a a rut of how to expand my, you know, just blues licks and rock licks, and try to not lose that stuff, but add on to it. So. The jazz was a big, going towards trying to learn how to play jazz was a really scary thing for me at first. It was like, I'll never get this stuff, you know? And I finally resigned myself to just, you know, I went to music school, to Berklee College of Music, and, and it was a very good program, kind of very kind of laid out, clear, and I just kind of did it, but I thought I'll never really be able to play jazz fluently because it's just too too hard, you know, it's too overwhelming. All those chord changes and all these scales and all that stuff, and I can't get any emotion behind it because it's like learning a real complicated language and trying to, trying to have a deep conversation with somebody without knowing the language, you know? And I thought I'll never learn the language well enough to be able to play like I can play some blues, which was just more natural for me. And, and Gradually, though, the more I got into it, the more fluent I got uh, and more stuff I got out of it. But it also immediately helped my blues and rock playing, just to have something else that kind of I got new ideas from. Um, so, so right away I got, a, got something from, from getting into jazz stuff and some of the more complicated, you know, stuff that uh, scales or, 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 or tunes that I had to learn trying to play jazz. And then the more I got into it, the more I loved it. And then I said, I'm going to do this no matter what it, what it takes, you know. And for me, I was really kind of not fast. Let's put it to you that way. I mean, I was assimilating a lot of this stuff. And learning it, it took me a lot. I had to practice really hard. And I used to space out a lot. And I used to, and I still do. What were we talking about? <laughs> Just kidding. And so, um, so I, I used to space out a lot and, and, um, and, and just not be able to focus on all the chords that are involved in, or all the scales and that kind of stuff. But, but gradually it, I, I began to learn the language in, in a way that you, you, you become fluent. So you can kind of like just let it go and, uh, and, and hear something just like you, you talk in a language that you know, you don't have to think about all the sentence beforehand. An idea comes out and some words follow immediately. So that began to happen with jazz, but it took me a long time to kind of get to that point. And then, like I say, jazz is, is, is as I've said in earlier lessons, and well, it's, it, music's endless. So no matter what, if it's blues or rock or jazz, you can go forever. It never ends. It's a, it's a never-ending journey. But one, one thing that uh, specifically that I kind of learned um, uh, from another like-minded musician, an amazing musician who, who died uh, a few years ago. He played with Sting for a while. He also played with Branford, Mar Branford and Wynton Marsalis. 
and uh, who are some great jazz musicians. And his name was Kenny Kirkland, an incredible piano player, could play rock. He was into all kinds of music. Just if it got his heart, he was into it. No, no, this is better than that. None of that stuff, you know. And the, he showed me a really cool lick that's off of a G7 symmetrical diminished. Okay, so here's kind of a G7 symmetrical diminished chord. It's kind of an E over a G, or a, not really diminished, it's kind of an altered chord using, using a symmetrical diminished scale, but half step, whole step. A diminished, A flat diminished, would be whole step, half step, from A flat to B flat, then a half step to B, then a whole step to D flat, then a half step to D, then a whole step to E, then a half step to G, then a whole step to, I'm sorry, to F, then a whole step to G, so. If you use it as a kind of that same scale from G, it's a half step whole step. You get different notes because you're thinking G then, you get different you would analyze it differently. It would be root, flat nine, sharp nine, uh, natural third, sharp 11, natural five, natural six, flat seven, and then root. So it's kind of like an altered scale. It's just a, one of these weird sounding scales that are great. <laughs> and this is the pattern that I learned from Kenny Kirkland. It's A flat, B flat, D, E. It's that cell, that kind of motif. And then you take that cell and move from the last note of that cell, which is A flat, B flat, D, and E. You'd move up from there one half step and start, start the same cell over again, F, G, B and D flat, and then move up again a half step to D, E, A flat, B flat. And then again. So if you want to do it in, in position, right? I'm taking the last four notes and just moving them up chromatically just because I felt like doing it. Here's the root. If I'm thinking C chord, I start on the flat nine. 